Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas with Gadget Hacks, and I'm going to be showing you Inkboard, an application that lets you draw or create drawings with your photos. So, we're just going to open it up. Of course, you're going to want to download it from the App Store. It's free, so don't worry about anything. And once you have it downloaded, we can open it up, and it'll take you to actually drawings. And you can see I have a couple drawings here. Um, if you want to create a new drawing, just tap on the plus icon. It'll bring up a little canvas where you can select between your um, tools and create your your doodles. So, and there's undo, and you can go back to the keyboard. Um, and if you want to share these images, you can go ahead and tap on the image, and you'll bring up the share options. Now, if you want to choose a photo or take a photo, just tap on photo editor. I'll choose a photo that I took just now of a teddy bear tap on the teddy bear, it'll bring it up. Again, here are the tools, and here I can begin editing the photo and drawing on it. So there's a heart. I can uh, choose a different utensil, whatever have you. And I hit save right here, and then it'll automatically bring up the share options. Here I can share with Instagram. Here I can share just like I shared before. And then here are some more options. So, and if I don't want to share it, I can of course hit done and it'll automatically save to my camera roll. Um, so that's, that's using the app. Now there is the keyboard, which is why it's called Inkboard. And of course to um, add a keyboard, you're gonna go to general, keyboards, tap on keyboard, um, add new keyboard, it'll be there. And then of course it'll jump up here. And then you're gonna wanna allow full access. Now, I wouldn't suggest using the keyboard because one, it's glitchy, and two, it'll actually not send the image. It'll send a link to download the keyboard to whoever you're sending it to. Whereas if you use the application, you can go ahead and send it, and it'll just appear as an image. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. There's a, let's go back to the keyboard. That's the link that they send, but there's an image that I sent to my coworker Nelson using the Inkboard app. As you can see, it went through perfectly. But if I choose Inkboard keyboard, as you can see right there, tapping and holding the globe icon, and I'll draw something, doesn't really matter, and try to send it, hit send. That'll give me the options to upload or copy. Obviously, I want to upload it. And once I upload it, that's what happens. And as you can see, it's a link. I hit the send link. He'll get a link to download the application where he can then view my message. So just use the, um, the normal application. It works just fine. You can still send messages. Um, just choose the message option from the application. And you won't even have to deal with the third-party keyboard glitchiness or the stupid links that your friends don't want to open. So again, it's called Inkboard. Make sure to check it out in the App Store for free and begin drawing and creating cool photos. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the full article. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.